If you're trying to figure out how to access your 250 kilowatt hours of free charging, then you're in the right place. Since your credits will expire two years after you buy the car, you're going to want to set up access before you lose the freebie. The key is properly setting up plug and charge. There are a few steps you need to complete to get access. Let's get started. Step one, you need to connect your vehicle modem to your Ford account. The dealership did this step for me, but if yours didn't, Ford has provided these steps to guide you through this process. There are two options, but it depends on where you are in the buying process, which one you need to follow. If you are currently purchasing your vehicle, log in to the e-commerce website to complete your purchase and e-sign all required documents. Enter your e-signature on the Ford Pass Connect modem activation page and click submit. Or when you receive your car, log in to the Ford Pass app, enter or scan your vehicle identification number, then click activate your Ford Pass Connect vehicle modem. Step two, you need to enable Ford Pass Connected services. Once you receive your car, you will see a message similar to this on your screen. Click yes to enable Ford Pass Connected services. Step three, you need to go online and activate your Blue Oval Charge Network. First, log in to your Ford.com account. Then under My Account, click to open your account information. Then click on View Vehicle Details. If you're having a difficult time with this step on your computer, try a different browser such as Chrome. Next, under Connected Services, click on Manage Services. Here you may see information about Ford Blue Cruise, Blue Oval Charge Network, which was previously called Ford Pass Charging Network, and connected built-in navigation. For today's video, I'm going to focus on the Blue Oval Charge Network. Click Activate Trial. On this page, it mentions two free years of access to the charging network and shows the amount of free kilowatt hours you are eligible to receive. Remember, the free charging is only available at participating Electrify America stations. Click Next. On this page, you will need to add credit card information and agree to terms of service and payment terms and conditions. If you do not add a credit card, then your plug and charge will not work and you will not get access to your free kilowatt hours. Your credit card will be charged to cover session fees at a charging station in the Ford network, but that does not take the free charging credits or session fees after your free kilowatt hours are used up or to cover idle fees. Now, idle fees are charged when you are plugged in but no longer charging your car. When you're finished charging, just unplug and leave and you will be able to avoid the idle charges. Once you enter in the credit card information and accept the terms, click Confirm Activation. It will send you back to your Connected Services page. You should now see the date your Blue Oval Charged Network free trial will expire and you may see activation pending. Within 10 minutes, it was no longer pending and also showed me my free kilowatt hour balance too. This page is from a few months ago, but here is the current page on my account. It will continue to show your expiration date and your remaining free kilowatt hours. The final step is turning on plug and charge. You need to open the Ford Pass app. At the bottom of your phone, select vehicle. Then scroll down until you see charging. Then click the blue oval charge network. You can see I have 250 kilowatt hours of free charging available. Click plug and charge and then turn plug and charge on. You just need to slide that indicator over and turn it on. And that should do it. Once you completed all these steps, you should be able to go to a participating Electrify America charging station and use your free credits. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I will see you next time.